Oh, it's a bowl of sugar. No, it's not. There's less sugar in it. Yeah, whatever. There's there's no sugar in that coffee. There's like half the amount I put. So four spoons. How you doing? I feel pretty sick. Oh, bless you. You, 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 girl. Well, we'll, we'll power through it. Okay. You'll be all right. Welcome back to another anime reaction. Today, we are back with Dragon Maid. Yay! By the way, in case you're new to the channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Rusty. I'm Astronomy. And together we make Rastronomy. And today we're reacting to episode three of Dragon Maid. Where we left it last was with Ilulu. Trick that she said into liking Kobayashi and wanting to live with them. All that malarkey. And Kobayashi being turned into a boy as well. Which... <laughs> <laughs> I was like guessing it, but like joking it, jokingly, and I got it. So. You nailed it. Should we get into it? Should we watch the episode? Yes, but before that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any future Dragon Maid uploads. And if you want to catch our reactions to all the previous episodes before today, then you can catch the link in the description below and that'll take you to the playlist. Should we get into it? Yeah. Let's go. Kanasan. Kanasan. All alone, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. She's always so nervous. <laughs> Oh, she got normal hands now. <laughs> I kind of miss those ball hands now. What's got? What's our thing gonna be for the intro now? We haven't got anything. Oh, got nothing. <laughs> I like this bit. I like this bit of the song. <laughs> Feels like real life sometimes. He's like, oh, oh, I'm so mad at you, but you're so cute. <coughs> I can't do anything about it. She hasn't clocked the horns on her head. No, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a punishment for her. Point of view is that. <laughs> oh, something gonna happen? Oh,まだ自分を許していない。小林さんのようにはいかないな。それじゃあちょっと話してみようよ。トイレの中で待っててごらん。<laughs> She's losing on purpose now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> e beam. <laughs> Pure oh, evil. Oh, she like forced them together. Yeah. Punk kid. Punk ass. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Where? Then she met Kana. <laughs> 
罪の重さや責任をきちんと取り扱うこと。子供はまだそれを知っていない。She's just infatuated with cuteness. Doesn't matter who it is, it seems. だまし討ちに会うから。変わらなければ、大人と一緒の場では戦えない。So does the Koa know? さっさと分別のない、無責任な子供に戻るがいいさ。Seems like、Does、it. she know then? Maybe. Probably. Seems like she knows. I feel like、Or、she knows a lot of stuff. Or maybe she's been filled in since episode two. I don't know. Look at that little tough. He's so cute. Look, oh, look, Koa's work. Kits and Coddles work. Good job. There you go. She destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> We saw it this time. <laughs> Goblin. Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.Goblin.
in the Kobayashi <coughs> is sickening, really. <laughs> Sugar <laughs> <first>. <laughs> Monopoly ruins friendships. She's out. <laughs> She's listening to her own theme song. Very meta. Among humans. <laughs> Yana. Our emo, Our emo friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has an emo friend. Natural. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I don't get it. <laughs> Just good at everything. <laughs> She's just good Jesus at everything. Jesus Christ, the detail on it. Mm. She's just good at everything and doesn't realize how good she is at everything. Imagine. Imagine a person like that. About <laughs> <laughs> every kid's hobby. Too far you die. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. Very, very uh, childlike imagination. <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much. You're taking it too serious, Toru. I like how every time we see Kana, though, she's like eating something, like a snack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good hobby. Clearly. That's her hobby. Idolizing Kobayashi. <laughs> And I thought that was the last time we would hear the song. Ah. I was wrong. Son. Next level obsession. <laughs> <laughs> Look, please put me down. Please. Go. Different. Is this her song? Is it? <laughs> like the Let's see. Missing. Don't know whether to believe it's the end or not. You'll see the destruction I can is. bring. This is the outro. This is the song she wrote for Kobayashi. <laughs> I like it though. This, this is the music video for them both. Yeah. This is the spin off show <laughs> Toru and Kobayashi Adventures. <laughs> That's what this whole show is about. <laughs> yeah, but. All the other characters are gone, it's just these two. But the other ones stop in from time to time. <laughs> they wrote a whole song for this. That's great. <laughs> that is a very high concept. This is amazing. Very creative. I love this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Love's kiss is sloppy kiss. <laughs> love you, Miss Kobayashi. Love sloppy kiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That was a great episode. That's probably the best one yet of season two. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I like things like that at the end. So like high concept endings, like specifically attuned to the episode that they're in. Same with intros as well, when they get like really high concept with it. Mm -hmm. um, like there's a show called Community <laughs> and the whole episode was just it done in claymation. So they made an intro in claymation as well to go with it. So I like those things that tailor to the episode specifically.
and like having that song at the end that you know is tailored into her trying to write a song for Kobayashi. It was great. I loved it. It I was really so funny. That. <laughs> Non-stop funny that was. Yeah, it was pretty like, good. Every single minute was a joke, 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 something silly happening. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I really liked that. Yeah, and I like that no matter like you would see like it would go back and forth to like the kids like doing their thing. Which that's what I was saying. Like Lulu was like. She might be the same age as Kobayashi, or not Kobayashi, as Toru, but she like still has her childhood, like her youth. So she's still a kid. Yeah. So like when I see her, like I still believe that she's like she's a kid. She's got a kid mentality. Yeah, like she's very like maybe missed out on her childhood with all that, you know, like the playing and stuff. She just wants to. And I just catching up on it. Yeah. So and that's what Lakoa was helping her like do, like face that fear and face her her past pretty much with like her guilt it showed a lot of like like the motherly side of her really because like i mean we see it all the time when she's like hanging out with shoto shoto right but oh. like you get you saw like a more motherly like wise side of her well that was the what that was she's like very wise in comparison to all of them we just like don't see it often she was annoying me in season one but i have like just this one episode gave me so much respect for her as like her character and like I, I it made me like wow like i love her <laughs> like Even, that was really great yeah. yeah it was really great like because like the kids have their own little group and then the adults are like with their own group and they're doing their own thing and the other kids are doing their own thing and then they would go back and forth and then there was comedy between both sides like you'd go in the room and there was comedy you'd come <clears> out of the room and there's still comedy yeah like, it felt good and the the nice little message from kobayashi as well about you know don't be so hung up on, I guess, stereotypes and or how you're supposed to do things. Just do, do and dress want. and be how you want to be. Yeah, because like ultimately, that. you ain't got you ain't got that long <coughs> on this earth, so you might as well, you know, do what you want because you know, Facts. you you don't want you don't want to be eighty and then regret everything you didn't do. You know. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. So it's like it a nice, good message from Kobayashi, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I uh, hopefully, it, I imagine people did who have watched this picked up on that as well yeah we would hope <laughs> yes yeah overall a very good episode don't you think yes yes i guess that'll be it for season two episode three of dragon maid s what did you guys think of this episode what did you think of the humor what did you think about elulu integrating with the other kids um what did you think of lakoa's part in instrument in that or being instrumental in that and the the message that Kobayashi expressed as well what did you guys think of that let us know in the comments okay with that if you did enjoy this video if you did enjoy the reaction be sure to smash the like button if you are new to the channel then obviously hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future Dragon Maid S videos and any other videos that we do on the channel okay thanks everyone bye goodbye <laughs> I'm sick <laughs>